according to your request. I can reflect hmm, into the meanings of this song. We have just sung song by Thakur Bhakti Vinod, Atma Nivedana, Tu Apade Kori Hainu Paramashu. You have already read out the translation, so you understand the meanings. So, I will just try to give some illuminations on this. So let me let me first make some introduction about the very nature, intrinsic nature of this song. And this is very much is very much educative song about how to live a family life for Krishna. In other words, what should be what should be the ideal way to live a Krishna conscious life? Live a family life in Krishna consciousness. This song is a, an ideally educative song for that. When we know how to engage in the activities of the family life of Krishna instead of just my family with these sentiments of I, me, mine, then actually each and every activity of that, uh, Krishna's family life takes us towards liberation. It liberates us from the action and reaction of the karma instead of binding us uh, by action and reaction. Hmm. See, Thakur Bhakti Vinod actually explain the principle of how to perform, how to uh, actively engage in Krishna's family life instead of one's own mundane personal one. See. And the very mood, the mode and mood, very temperament, attitude, feelings of living Krishna's family life is has been described to this song. What should be as Thakur Bhakti Vinod actually described from his own realization okay, about what should be the <clears throat> mood and attitude and feelings of living Krishna's family. Never considering it's my family, I am the head of the family, I am master and controller. Rather, the whole Rather, the whole mood, attitude, temperament should be all belonging to Krishna. Actually, I am living in Krishna's family as a caretaker. Like we see, one may have a big palace. No? Suppose you can have a big palace. But while you think it's owned by me, it is mundane concept. But as a devotee thinks, okay, with a devotional temperament, feelings, thinks, I am not the owner. I am just caretaker. Simply caretaker on behalf of my divine master. Then it becomes bhakti. It becomes devotional mood, devotional relation with Krishna. Thakur Bhakti Vinod was a great, great example of living a life of Grihastha Asrama in Krishna consciousness. I repeat, living, leading a life in Grihastha Asrama in Krishna consciousness. How to do that? Narrated, described through such devotional song. And his feelings, 
his realization about it all is so blissful, so great, ecstatic, blissful. Chaudhika Ananda Dekhi. He says, once, once I surrender myself, once I have surrendered myself to you, Lord, to your lotus feet, the soul is of all fearlessness, okay, and happiness. I, I actually feel, I realistically feel and experience a mystical divine happiness all around me. Okay. What I never experienced before. But such experience appearing in my life with my loving surrender, with my unconditional loving surrender to you, my Lord, accepting your shelter with all, all my heartfelt devotion. So, once I do that, okay, I, I feel some joy all around me. I can experience some waves of divine joy all around me coming from you by your mercy. And I'm more and more realizing, accepting shelter under your feet, in your holy feet, is, is a great solace. Hmm? It's a, it, br it brings great relief in my life, everyone's life. There is no, okay, it's the source of all optimisms, all immortal hope. So, so the shelter of your, of your lotus feet is the source of all immortal hopes, positive hopes of uh, high class spiritual achievement, divine achievement in my life. Okay. It, it makes me find myself in immortality, mm -hmm. some immortal taste of nectarine mm, life in relation to you. Amrita Adhar, Tumaru Charanantar. Prabhu, in other words, I can realize, now I can directly experience your lotus feet means your shelter. Is the paragon of all divine nectar. Is the reservoir, unlimited reservoir of all divine nectar. Now I am tasting it, I am receiving a glimpse of taste, so much of its taste with my, after I surrendered to you, with my loving surrender to you, my Lord. You are very merciful. I can feel your divine grace, your mercy, through my ecstatic experience of yourself. So long I was feeling so restless, unpeaceful, to live in my, in my material family life. Now, as I, as I have begun to live your family life, live in your family, with your divine consciousness, I see, I feel greatly restful, very happy, satisfied, greatly satisfied in my heart. It's an experience of divine satisfaction. Hmm. And then he explains the mood of how to do, engage in Krishna Samsar, Krishna family life. Like, that my position is to engage in ecstatic love service to you, for my beloved Master, beloved Lord. Okay. To please you. That's my goal. I repeat. 
all my goal from now on is to just engage in your ecstatic love services to to bring pleasure to you to please you okay and then whatever is left by you for me i will accept them as prasadam and live my happily live my life on the on your prasadam i won't do anything for myself separately separate from your interest but i become i merge all my personal interest with your interest with your service interest and i feel so much satisfied to be in that position my life is well maintained i can feel my life is well maintained sustained by your remnants after i offer everything offer everything to you then you always graciously leave so many things for me to accept as prasadam okay and i experience that blessed life now to live on your prasadam i all my activities in your family life i mean all the fruits of all my activities for you in your family life is meant to be offered to you i don't want to be the enjoyer of the fruits of my service activity oh lord i offer all of them to you and then after you accept once you after you accept them then whatever remnants left for me i will be very happily sustaining my life with that gauri bol says tomaru seva dukho hoy jato sometimes in my way to serve you i know some taste can appear different types of taste can appear in my life to examine the quality of my devotion to you whether my faith is vulnerable or invulnerable whether it easily fluctuates as soon as i find myself in some austere condition adversity all my faith is gone it just uh, fluctuates from you or still even even during my ad- adverse period i still continue with full faith and devotion to you i know you sometimes send test to test in my life to find out what quality of devotion i have got how much conditional how much unconditional so i know sometimes i will receive some test from you to pass through in order to test the quality of my devotion okay when i am in happiness when i take happiness to serve you when everything is very comfortable and all environment is very benef- very favorable and comfortable for me then i feel so happy to serve you But as soon as i have to take any austerity for you then i don't like i don't like to serve you then it means i am not a qualified devotee my quality of devotion is very fragile easily breakable very fragile as soon as some distress comes worldly misery comes oh my all faith and devotion is gone so it cannot be like i am supposed to have a firm devotional faith firm devotion and okay supposed to have a firm faith and devotion to you to become a real devotee okay independent of mundane misery and happiness and we i should understand that while taking when i'm taking some miserable experience for your cause going through some miserable experience okay like uh, for the for your sake okay 
for the cause of your service. And I know finally that will actually my my such position will actually destroy all the mundane miseries eternally. Okay, like taking some bitter medicine, although medicine tastes bitter, but it actually brings the health, destroys the disease, sickness, and promotes the health. Similar way, sometimes I may have to take some misery in the field of your service, may have to, or not all the time, may have to sometimes. But still, if I pass through that experience happily, knowing, oh, I am taking it, I am making this sacrifice in my life for your sake, for the sake of your service. And such sacrifice will actually destroy all my mundane miseries in the long run, in consequence. So, some, sometimes in the process of treatment we have to take some austere things, yeah? injection, bitter tablets, okay, something we don't like. But we find a good result, healthy result in the long run by going through the treatment. That way. So it's like that. The happiness, see, whether pains or pleasure taken for, for your cause, for the cause of your service, are always the source of Paramo Sampada Nasha Abhidhik. Always brings a great treasure in my life. It always brings a great good, great treasure in my life. So, I know, and by, hmm. so I know I need to pass through that taste, my Lord, hmm. to prove the quality of my devotion, that my faith and devotion to you not conditioned by mundane experience of well and oh, okay, happiness and pleasure. It is firm through both situations. And then, finally, I, I can realize, I can, I can have some experience of this divine, eternal divine relationship with you, which is unparalleledly beautiful which is so, okay, which is, which is an invaluable treasure in my life. What is that? That, oh Lord, I fully belong to you. Okay, I have, I have taken full shelter in your lotus feet. I have surrendered myself, so I have become fully belonging to you. I know. When I, I can become, I can become fully belonging to you, at some point you will also graciously be belonging to me. Okay, as, I, as I can wholeheartedly be belonging to you, at some point you will also be belonging to me as my beloved Divine Lord of my life the supreme subject and object of all my uh, loving devotion. And I want to be established in that uh, eternal, beloved relationship with you, that, that I belong to you, you also belong to me. Oh Lord, please know, please consider, consider me in this way, that I fully belong to you. If I cannot give myself fully to you, please you take. You kindly, you mercifully absorb all my heart and soul, everything, all my life for you. 
once I once I have that qualification, then I know at some point you will also mercifully give yourself to me. You can also become belonging to me. And that would be the most, the highest ambrosial loving relationship between you and me, me and you. I'm, I'm hankering, I'm eternally hankering, deeply hankering for having that quality of relation with you in eternity that I fully belong to you in love and you also fully, you also are belonging to me uh, in the merciful love towards me. And what, once I can attain that state of relationship with you, I know I will be swimming in the ocean of nectarian joy. I will be sw swimming in the divine ocean of nectarian mm, bliss. Uh, engaged in love services for you, towards you. And my, and then, okay, my all, all kinds of my efforts and endeavors will only be meant to please you, to bring you happiness. And the more I could, the more I could I can please you, make you happy with my services. In return, the more I will receive the same in my life. It's a reciprocation, reciprocative relationship. The more I can make you happy, I can please you, the more I can also be satisfied and be happy in return. Tasting your, mm, tasting your Nectar, love nectar. Gaur Haribo. So, I know. Bhakati Vinoda Anande Dubi Atomar Shivarutai. Okay, he also mentioned in between, like, Purva Itihas Bhulinu Sakal Seva Sukhape Mani. Lord, by receiving the taste, divine taste in your service, I just forgot, I simply forgot all my past history, mundane past history of my life. I don't bother anymore, okay? They cannot affect me anymore because I have, I have received this solace, nectarian solace. I have found my nectarian solace in your, in your lotus feet. Now, I am experiencing the blissful taste of my relation with you. So, by being absorbed in the world of your loving devotional service, now I, I don't care, I don't bother anymore okay, about my past life history. No more affected by that. I just forget. Hmm. Automatically forgetting all this. That. Hmm. Because I can experience. Now I am awakened on the divine plane of my super soul and super soul, on the plane of divine realization of my relationship with you. That actually, in reality, I fully belong to you and you also belong to me. Why should I be wasting my time, energy around? other mortal things other than you. Why should I be bothered to run after some material achievement, only some limit, limited mundane achievement other than you, without you, my Lord? Hmm? I am now, full. now I am sensing, rather tasting my ambrosial fulfillment of life. Ambrosial fulfillment of life in love relation with you. So now I am swimming in the ocean of divine bliss, being engaged 
an ecstatic love service to you, ecstatic love relation with you. This is my experience, my Lord. You know everything, but still I I take, I take great happiness to explain that, describe that to you as my offering, as my offering to, uh, to you. Okay. Gaur Haribo. So I did not explain each and every line literal way, but I just gave some illumination, explain about the inner mood. Okay more and the, and the nature of the song. One of the great songs to give us some idea, not just knowledge, some idea, some feelings about loving surrender to Lord. Loving surrender and having eternal love relationship with our beloved Lord engaged in loving services. His divine loving services. Hmm, Gauri, Nitai, Gauri.